All right, guys, hello, and welcome to our Q&A video. We are going to have a very boring day because it's rainy season in Korea and it's gross outside. So we don't want to go anywhere. So all we're doing today is grocery shopping and then we're going to go see Finding movie. Dory. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go see a movie. We're going to go see Finding Dory finally. But as promised, we are going to do our Q&A video. do this so we have lots of questions to answer we'll just do them in the order that I have them on my phone okay how is your hair so perfect <laughs> my hair is perfect because <laughs> <laughs> she says but seriously it's on point and I'm like thanks <laughs> it's not perfect trust me yeah it takes a lot of work but yeah what do you like to cook the most can you cook Korean dishes <laughs> Answer. Okay. Okay. Well, she cooks and she cooks. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Pasta yeah. type of stuff. I cook really um, easy stuff. Mm, I'm not good at cooking. I don't like. She cooking. is. She makes Italian chicken and like the chicken involved food. She's really good at it, but it's. I'm not good at it. I mean, I, I don't like it. Maybe I'm good at it, but I don't like cooking. So I mean, I we only it. have one stove top. Uh, and I just like, hate cooking. It's really, really limited to cook like a bunch of stuff we want to mm -hmm. eat. Yeah, or that's my excuse. At least. But, and uh, to answer your second question, I do not know how to cook any Korean food. And really, he doesn't either. So, <laughs> we don't eat Korean food in this house. <laughs> okay. The next one is from an Instagram question. It says, it's from Korean fam. And she says, have any of your family members other than your sister visited you in Korea? And that is a no. no. <laughs> We've only lived here for just over a year and a half. And my younger sister is the only one that kind of has the schedule that allowed for her to come visit. So right. anyway, so no. And then are there many actual single dwelling homes, like subdivisions in Korea? Um, Typically, people live in apartments, but there are several single dwelling homes, just like mostly in the countryside or in certain neighborhoods right. of the city. Like it's there, you can't really find those just all over the city. It's like one area of the city might have these kind of houses. This one's from Trilby. It says, you have talked about the differences between the two of you, culture, country, language, etc. How, um, what are the things you have in common that draw you together? Oh, we have a lot in common. <laughs> what? Well, like, we have different cultures and stuff, but we have the same beliefs and the same, like, morals and the same, as in, like, Jiang's Korean and I'm American, but our cultures kind of don't matter because he kind of is more of a Western mindset, I guess. It's hard to explain, but we have a lot more in common than people would imagine just because Jiang came to America so early in his education, like junior year of high school. So, what would you think though? What do we have in common? <laughs> we both like pizza. <laughs> so deep, babe. <laughs> That's all that matters, pizza, period. Every Where's weekend. <laughs> pizza. Are you guys planning to move back to the States once Jiang finishes his military duty or continue living in Korea? Do you guys ever talk to each other in Korean or mostly in English? Who is the better cook? By the way, love your videos. Thank you so much, first of all. Thank you. Second of all, okay, the first question. Are we gonna move back to the States or stay in Korea? <laughs> what? That's a big question. So Jiang will be finished with his army service in pretty much exactly two months. So we are so, so close to being done with this portion of our lives, but it's always been in our plan to move back to the US. Right? We just don't know exactly yeah. when. We're not sure. We're still talking about what, like when we're gonna move back, if it's gonna be a year from now, if it's gonna be a year from November, it's, if it's gonna be six months from now, we're just not sure. So we're we, still, Discuss. Yeah, discussing a lot and yeah. it's kind of the main thing we're thinking about right now and we have to make a decision soon because we have to tell the landlord of this apartment when we'll move out. So, ah! Next 
question. Do you guys ever talk to each other in Korean or mostly in English? I think it's fairly obvious that we talk mostly in English. In English. Just because Jiang's really, really good at English and I don't learn languages very well. <laughs> so I'm not very good in Korean at all. He <laughs> speaks like some, something like... A little kid. Don't do it or yeah. just don't. I do know. Yeah. And stuff like that in Korean, simple words. Really basic me. things. But it's cute. What makes your relationship unusual are not the different cultures, ethnicity, or race. It is getting more common in the U.S. That is true. Um, what is unusual is that Reyna was willing to leave the U.S. to go to South Korea. That is some serious commitment. I grew up in Asia, but I wouldn't want to move back to my old country. Yeah. <laughs> Jiang says this all the time. Like, I'm so lucky that you came here to Korea with me. Yeah. But honestly, like, when you fall in love, it's not even a question. Like, you just go where he goes. Like. I would not even consider staying in the U.S. while he was here. This is why I'm saying I'm lucky. <laughs> not many, or not Pico. a lot of people, will. not even, just don't think like that. Sorry, Pico's literally eating a biscuit. Hang on. Can you yeah. bring me one? <laughs> Mokbang. <laughs> Mokbang. You crazy cat. Okay. <laughs> she can cook. Enjoy our biscuits. <laughs> I'll move these down here. Just don't let Pico get up. Okay. He looks pissed. So that wasn't really a question, more of a statement. But yes, people do mention that a lot. So basically, yeah. I was to the point where I loved him so much I never wanted him to come to Korea again without me because I hated being so far from him. <laughs> yeah. Next question. <laughs> I don't know if that's a Korean name or if it's like, How did you yeah. guys meet? This is from YouTube. Yeah, how did you guys meet? I want some more details. How do you like Korean culture? What was your parents' opinion when you guys dated outside your race? Mm. Was it tough for an interracial, interracial couple to adapt all the differences? How, how did, did you guys meet? meet? So we explained this in our last Q&A video. I don't really know what you mean by you want more details. Basically, I literally just went to my friend's dorm room and he was in there and that's how we met because <laughs> we lived in the same dorm in college. So it was just like fate and then that was it. Was it was because we didn't meet until the second semester. Yeah, we like, never we met didn't first even semester. see each other in the first semester. I shouldn't say it was fate. It was more like God, <laughs> not fate. How do you like Korean culture? I'm assuming this is directed towards me, but we can pro probably both answer this question. So there are things about Korean culture that I like. And there are things about Korean culture that I don't like. Just like anyone else. Like, of course. Yeah. Everyone's gonna have things like that. So there are things about American culture I don't like. So don't be getting offended, Koreans. <laughs> but I, I mean, overall, I like Korean culture. You do? <laughs> what about you though, seriously? Cause you're Korean and you don't even like Korean culture. There, are, I'm just, like she said, I'm just too Americanized and there are a bunch of, there's no personal bubble stuff in Korea, oh gosh, so yeah. it's like really tight. Mm. Like There's so many people in Korea. Walking by and touching like right. accidentally when it would say sorry or something like that, hold holding the door for the next per person, right. something like that. It's just very different, but... Manners. Yeah, manners. Basically. Like sneezing without covering your mouth and it <laughs> goes like... <laughs> It goes like it's 20 feet through the subway how train. They sneeze. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. What was your parents' opinion when you guys dated outside your race? My parents could care less. Like, there was never even a question like, wait, he's Korean or Asian? Like, no one cared whatsoever. It's very normal in the US to date outside of your race. Like, it's actually becoming normal Friend. for everyone to be mixed. Like the future of America, the future Americans are going to be all interracial kids. You know, like it's very, very normal for us. So like my parents didn't even bat an eye, but. My parents you? didn't even care either. Yeah, I mean it really. Was, it was just about when we're getting married, not about who I'm getting married. Yeah, that's to. true. So we're really blessed with families that 
raised us in the way to like not see color and not see race and not care about any of that. So I'm really happy with the way that our parents raised us. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then was it tough for an interracial couple to adapt to the differences? There are definitely differences that were tough in the beginning, mostly with culture. Like mostly with little things in Korean culture, really. That we didn't have much in America that bothered us. But like when we first moved here, there were little things that kind of like got between us a little. Is like I, what? Like I don't want to like go into detail and explain it because I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. But yes, it was a little tough as an interracial couple living in one of our countries. You know, I don't really know how to explain That's true, it. Yeah. But of course, it's gonna be tough. 